uh, we have this kitchen, we're producing all this food, beautiful, tasty, yummy food that warms people's heart and gives them hope, you know, to go on another day and have strength to um, just wake up and, you know, try to make the best of it. These people are in camps and they have their basics like water and they can take showers. They're still sleeping in cots. This is not what we humans, you know, deserve. They will not go inside. Their houses are cracked, they're afraid, and they're just, you know, trying to save themselves from a major catastrophe. It's really hard. My mother's house is about to crumble. But we're still living inside because my mom doesn't want to leave the house, which is very dangerous. It's every day. Puerto Rico shakes every day. Different intensities, but we shake every day. Some, some we feel, some we don't. But it hasn't stopped. When they are strong, the noise comes before the shake. And you're gonna hear, it's like a truck. So you brace yourself, because it's coming. For me, Elder, elder people and kids are the most vulnerable and it's, I think that what makes me, you know, wake up next morning and do it all over again.